It is summer like this afternoon in Pittsburgh. We welcome you to college baseball on the ACC network with the Pitt Panthers hosting the Duke. Uh, where he feels more confident in what he is doing. Still just a sophomore. You see the numbers. It's a triple, a homer, and two runs scored. Yeah, there's a line drive to center field. Popo over and makes the catch. Five for nine in the series. He bats third. Bravo's had a nice series. Asia with one out and a 1 1 count. That ball is looped into center field and is going to drop. And took a high hop for a second, but come on. There is a ground ball to Zuckerman. High hop throw over to second. They get the one. And they turn the double play. Look for a second. It'll be tough just to get the four. It comes a little three quarter, which is a. I imagine Nico's got to make it tough on righties. Cantwell, Melendez, Justin Fogel, CJ Funk, 3 2 pitch. And the Panthers have a base runner. Melendez grounds to short. Flipped to second for one and on to first. Pulled off the bag is the first base. 1-1 one, one is skied into left field. In comes the left fielder Winslow. Maybe, you know, start start rolling a little bit more. And four wide ones to Funk. And two on for the Panthers with two outs. Eight of the last nine seasons. There's a line drive into right field. And down from Dom Popa, a run is going to score. And the Panthers take an early 1-0. And there's a ground ball. Diving stop by Morris up to his feet, and he gets the out. Big home runs, one in each game. And a ground ball right up the middle. Bischke throw over. 2-2 two -two pitch is lined into right field coming on is C.J. Funk to make the catch. For uh, act to, to watch uh, watch the Panthers play, actually, playing um, Lipscomb a couple years back. And a ground out by the net. Bay ready to go, 3-1 pitch is ball four. Third walk. And more in the first. Looking to bunt, showing bunt, and getting the job done successfully. And boy, they are nearly to put up some runs so it's it's just about manufacturing some and and that's a good job there just to get the guy in the scoring position so two two out pitch and ball four two consecutive walks for Cantwell up eight earned runs in his last seven and two-thirds innings last year he made 10 starts so Melendez I mean, he just chops it right in front of the catcher stone throws it to first and Panthers, if you're if you're the Duke hitters, you you, you, you got to recognize that and you, you got to go up there and be aggressive. How about that pitch from Ryan Reed? Didn't have a lot of opportunities at the plate. And lines one right up the middle. He can do it all. And lines it into right field. So a couple of batters that don't get a ton of opportunities with. And a ground ball right back. To the pitcher, little wide throw over to first is blocked by Cantwell. 3-1 pitch. And now the bases are loaded for Alex Stone. Here for the Blue Devils. And a line drive right at Zuckerman who will trot over to third base and that'll do it. Depends. 2-1 pitch and it's slowly hit ground ball. Shortstop up with it, throw over. Nice and smooth for Clark. And ground ball hit hard and off the glove of the shortstop, Clark. Get Duke out of the first inning. And he's swinging a miss. Two strikeouts in the inning for Higgins. We head to the. Chris Pollard's done a nice job with this Duke program. Ball lifted into right field. Funk glasses down, puts it away. Just miracle health. And there's a shot into left field coming in and making a diving catch is Fogel. So we've seen good defense from both sides. 3-2 is a high fly ball to center field. Popa is back and it is well gone. Yeah, I mean that, that ball was that ball was hammered. The wind played no factor in that one. Uh, 
Just a great swing by Obi. Got the, got the for three in the second game yesterday, and the grounds won to Cantwell. Cantwell drops it for a second, has to dive to first base and comes up short. So two on now with two outs. Coming from Ryan Reed. And a line drive into center field. Popa over and puts it away. The left side wide open and it hits him. So first base around. You let him swing away here. Yeah, you see the average at three. One two pitch. There's a high fly ball to center field. Back it goes. Back it goes and gone. His sixth home run. Yeah, and Jeff, I, uh, we talked about maybe the, the, the sack bun his last at bat. Glad, I think they made the right move. You can tell he felt, felt the solid contact. But then he, t he takes off because you just don't know. Some first 3 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good high heat by Higgins gets Zuckerman. You walk out of here and boom, car gone. And there is a high fly ball to right field. Man, is that tattooed. Ball was flying Second. today. Yeah, I mean, a, a, a nice warm day. It's a, it's the those are the best days to hit, and gets that gets that break. Absolutely hammers it. You know, Jaden Melendez. What a. Higgins and looks at called strike three. So it's been an interesting inning for the Panthers. And just soft little liner off the glove of the third baseman Rogers. He spun a couple different ways. And the one two is a swing and a miss. Well he struck out the side except for a Jake Kendro. There's a high pop up. Second baseman Bishke is able to hold on. And he shoots that into the gap, and that is down for extra bases. Gracia heading into second base with his second. There's a shot to left field and bounces off the wall. Run in for the Blue Devils with back to back. Doubles. And Stone had to hustle in, but clearly safe. This is on the season. Fireved his 12th opportunity. 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Fireved gets Bravo chase. Might pull the trigger uh, if he leaves one over the middle. And ball four and hustling down to third base is Stone. Curve. Potentially take the lead. And a high fly ball to center. Popa is back and watching it go out of here. The Blue Devils run shot and it's 5-4 Duke. Yeah, and almost an identical spot of uh, where he hit his first home run. And leave the breaking ball up in the zone because good hitters are going to make you pay for it. And you probably heard the applause. Good average. Krusen grounds that to the third baseman. And Zuckerman the throw over. 2 0 here to Popa. And Popa lines it to left field and judged well by Krusen. And the first goal. As a ground ball well picked by Bravo, and he'll win the race to first. Scored a run here today. 1 2 pitch and. Swing and a miss. So the Panthers go one, two, three. Four. Even though they don't, they're not getting leadoff batters on for the Panthers. Kendro with the two run home. The game Friday was. There is a hard hit ball to right center field and gone. Kyle Chuck pitching, hitting, he does it all. Yeah, I mean, how, how about the, the backside pop out of Johnson? I mean, that, that effort team. Whenever, uh, whenever you hang a breaking ball over the middle of the plate, it's it's gonna get hammered. So well, and a ball low as Rogers works the walk.
it feels like he's been more effective than that. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's another one of their go-to guys out of... And the first pitch to Morris is ripped into center field, a base hit. And a swing and a miss. Fernandez gets the strikeout. And a line shot, and he's going to add to that total. That ball is going to go all the way to the wall. Stone will flying in, two in for only Duke player not to get on base. And a little looper is going to be caught by Fogel. 1-0 pitch is just skied. Funk is looking for it. Has a beat on it, and it's over his head. The ball gets out there in that wind. It just two walks and struck out six in two and a third at Kent State. See that 2-2 two -two pitch. And there's another high pop up to right field. Shielding his eyes is Funk and he puts it away. Ever, he gave up six runs early in the year in two thirds of an inning. And a swing and a miss. So Talon gets a first strikeout. It's up, you get the three runs back so you answer. There is a shot into right center field and a home run for Ryan Zuckerman. The third Panther yeah, home run. I really like the swing there from Zuckerman. Off the lefty going with that fastball out, out over the. Swing and a miss. Today would be a good day to be a DH. And strike three called on the outside corner. He shoves. There is a line drive into left field base hit for Melendez. Two out single. One two pitch. And that one's left up, and Fogel's not able to find it. And that'll do it. And the pitch from Porter is ball four. On this 2 2 to Rogers. And that's a fly ball to left. Getting under it is Fogel. Fogel catches it. His 35 RBIs. There's a line drive to right field. 36 RBIs. And a. You see the ERA. And a line drive caught by the shortstop. He'll throw over anyway. <laughs> Three, two pitch, and Panthers once again have a leadoff base runner. Yeah, and really. And there's a line drive into center field that is down for a base hit. Obi came in quickly. And, and that's how it starts. It's just about. And Antoine is on deck. There is a high fly ball to center. Going back is Obi, and it's gone. Eight. Yeah, and, that, and that's how it happens. That's how it happens. You get a hard get time finding the plate and getting behind batters. Walked one, then Popa lined the single, and then. The set, but nope. They keep fighting, and they dribbles one down the left field line to St. Anne's base, but the shift was on, and they... again the three-two, and from his knees, Stone throws him out. Uh, I mean, that's a big momentum shifter right there for for, for the Blue Devils. And a ground ball hit hard. Bobbled by the third baseman, but still in time to throw it over. Blue Devil team. Stone a ground ball to Zuckerman. Throw over, one out. Hit today. And another ground ball to third, and it is fair. Zuckerman on the run, high throw, but good job of keeping his feet. And a swing and a miss. A one, two, three inning. To right field. And line drives for a base hit to right field. Even with the shift, he's able to find lead. 
Vogel hits one hard and past the shortstop. Goes by Clark, heading to third base is Cantwell and runners at the corners and one out. There's two pitches. 2-2. Two -two. And it's lined through into center field. A base hit. It's 10-9. Got it to the first two pitches, you know, and, and but, but really. So Funk able to get his first RBI of the game. 0-2 pitch. Popa grounds it. Diving play by the first baseman, but loses it. Bases are loaded and one. And a ground ball through into left field. Runner is being held at third base. The game is tied, still only one out. Fourth RBI for Tyler Jonas St. Antoine against Duke with a chance to put the Panthers in front. It's 10-10. Too hard. Funk was Funk was motoring around second, but and he rolls over and through. Base hit for Saint Antoine and the Panther. Love that the freshman fired up. Just a big insurance. And a check swing too far and a strikeout for the second out. And a swing and a miss. So Bielinson able to get a couple of big strikeouts. However. The Panther, and then another local product, likely, although maybe a pinch hitter. And a ground ball to short, having to go back on it. Long throw over, and gets loose from Cantwell and heading down to second for Kendro. To go with the right, he was going to square and lay it down right back at the pitcher. Obi stays at second base. Transfer from Tufts. And a high chopper is going to be a tough play. Bishke runs in on it, gets it over to first. Runner goes over to third. Ninth. Duke needs a run to tie it. Foul back, strike one. And the 0-2, strike three called. Be, you know, a, a, give them a boost, uh, you know, heading into the, in the back half of the season. So that'll do ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.